The first step in installing the GME ENS slide rail system is to dig a pilot cut. The cut should be three feet longer than the panel being used and approximately four feet deep. When the pilot cut is completed, place the outside panel in the trench. Backfill the panel on each side so it stands by itself. Next, drop the corner rail over the end of the outside panel. There are guides in both the panel and the rail to make sure it locks into place correctly. Dig another pilot cut three feet longer than the panel being used and four feet deep. This cut should be made at a 90 degree angle from the end panel. The outside panel can be installed starting at a 45 degree angle, then snapped into the rail and lowered into position. This procedure allows the panel to be installed at ground level rather than going up and over the top of the rail. Next, install the second corner rail. As with the first corner, lower the rail over the end of the outside panel. Dig another pilot cut at 90 degrees to the end panel. Install the third outside panel by swinging it into place from a 45 degree angle and lowering it into position. To check the squareness of the slide rail system, measure diagonally between the two outside panels and make adjustments as necessary. Also verify that the entire system is level and plumb at every step of the installation. Next, remove the remaining dirt from the inside of the system. At this stage of the installation, Dig only as deep as the bottom of the outside panels. The strut card and extension assembly is used to set the width of the slide rail system and to stabilize the system during and after installation. The extensions are available in various widths to accommodate the contractor's needs. The first step in the assembly process is to lay the strut cart and extension assembly on a flat surface with adequate working space on all sides. Step two is to guide the first linear rail over the end of the strut, past the rollers, and then to the required position. Next, repeat this process for the second linear rail on the opposite end of the strut cart and extension assembly. Step 3. Place the stop pins above the strut cart and extension assembly into the appropriate holes in the linear rails. The pin holes are keyed to lock them in place. When lifting the completed unit, the strut cart and extension assembly will seat securely against the stop pins.